you may well have been deceived. Well, David, uh, we deliver lots of letters and numbers, and we deliver lots of words on the show, but um, some words actually deliver a lot more than others. That's true. In fact, the word I want to look at tonight is sweep. Now, we all know that that is to sort of ply a broom and uh, collect uh, dust across the floor, but it actually has over 40 meanings in the dictionary. 40? And I'm not going to touch on all 40, but I will give you a very quick uh, rundown on, on several. For example, it is uh, a cricket stroke to leg because it imitates that sweeping action. It is a broad canoe stroke uh, in um, canoeing, it's also used as a, a steering uh, practice. That is why in a surf boat, uh, the fellow at the back or, or uh, female actually has a long oar, it's called the sweep. Um, it is to look for mines as well, to sweep across a, a river mouth. It is also an action in music uh, with the fingers or with a bow to sweep across the strings. Uh, it is a lever on a well for lowering the bucket into the well. It's called the sweep. It is a chimney sweep, just as it is a very tasty fish uh, off uh, Australian coasts called the sweep. In fact, I remember as a child going uh, rock fishing and we used to catch sweep. But why is a, a fish called a sweep? Well, fascinatingly, it's because uh, when that fish is caught, it usually uh, develops a kind of black sheen across its uh, surface that uh, is reminiscent of a chimney sweep. But as I sweep my eyes across the studio here, I can see a close game starting to brew, and I can also speculate whether Norm has the potential of doing a clean sweep with the conundrums at least. Very nice sweeping, David. <laughs> Let's look at those scores. Hans is on six. Norm is on 23. And I think we should get some more letters from you, Hans, please. Uh, can I get a, um, a compliment, please, Lily? T. And another? And a third one. C. And a vowel. E. And another. A. And a consonant. M. And a vowel. O. And a consonant. G. And another consonant. And finally, M. Time starts now.
Ah, Norm. I think I have an eight. Hans? I have a seven. Let's begin with the seven. Braised. Braised. Thank you. And Norm? Bordies. Now, can you spell it for us? Because I think we may have had this before. B O A R D I E S. <laughs> well, if you're not catching sweep or braising your fish, you can always go swimming, and Bordies is an excellent eight. Debonair, another lovely eight there, too. Very nice indeed, and uh, eight very good points for Norm. Let's mix it with the numbers again, and uh, Hans, you were saying how everything depends on bearings. Well, I guess even bearings depend on numbers. Absolutely, Richard. Four small and two large, please. Thanks, Hans. There's two large and four small. And our numbers... Two. Two. Seven. One. And the two large, 150. The target to reach is 862. Here we go. Numbers, Hans? Um, 854, Richard. Uh, 8 away. What about you, Norm? I have 864. You're only two off, so uh, that bit closer. Tell us what you did. Okay, so 100 plus 2 is 102. 100 plus 2 is 102. And I multiply that by 7 plus 1. Uh, by 7 plus 1, which is 8. So 8 times 102 should be 816. 16, yep. Then I added 50 to make 866. 866. And then I subtracted 2 to give 864. Take away the 2 is 864. So, nice work. You're only uh, 2 away from our target of 862. Was it a tough target, Lily? Um, it was really tough, but here's how I did it. Now, 7 by 125 is 875. So, I used that idea to tweak a little bit and then... Um, eventually arrive at 862. Show us. Um, now let's make 125 first. Uh, 50 divided by 2 is 25. And then, so 100 plus 25 is 125. Now here comes the tweaking. Minus 2 by the 7 is 875 minus 14, which is 861. And then add the other one is 862. Oh, that is a big a calculation of delight on a Friday night. Beautiful work, Lily. But well done also to Norm. Seven points. So, Hunt now on six, Norm on 45. We're heading for another break. You're heading for another word mix. This time it's saw verb. And the clue, one with views. Back in a while. 